Diator's a firm fan favourite, first fighting at the end of the last century. But his reputation wasn't solely based on his ability to win, but more of that later. Peter Redmond, it is a pleasure to have you back. It's a pleasure to be here. In your role as international captain as well. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm leading the team here. We're going to take over. I think is, we're just going to... Yeah, absolutely. Think? How is it working, this, uh, this, this international rag bag of countries? Uh, yeah, well, it's interesting. We've, we've been working together. We have a, a different robots that will do different things. Roboteers, stand by. Three. Fifteen years of waiting is over for Diator coming into the arena to meet Terra Hertz. Oh, well, one of the eyes has gone straight away. Terra Hertz has taken his eyes. Oh, he's taking his eyebrow off now. Next. He's dead. Ah. Go, on. go, go, go. I think poor old Peter's team have gone here straight away. The first impact of the big axe. We can see the weaponry spinning of Diator. They're going nowhere, though. And they're immobilised there, which means the Rabbit M8 can come in. Terra Hertz can go back into the CPZ and be tagged by Sabertooth. That's what happened. And that's that. What? Oh, no. Come on! Hey, well done, lads. Well, well, well. What happened here in that corner, Patrol Zone? Good attack by Sabertooth, spinning Rabbit M8 onto its side. And I think three points here. Team UK coming their way, unless there's a massive fight back from the rest of the world. There's the tyre, goes to that right hand side as we see it, which means we have fog of war, which can be used as a tactic, of course. Robots can hide in the fog, it didn't last very long. Just brutalised to your tour, ceases called, and a win. For the UK, has to be, has to be. Poor old Diator. Brr, baby. Go on. Oh, yes, he's going. <laughs> oh, which fire? <laughs> burn, baby, burn. I didn't even hit him. We didn't hit him very hard. I, I, all I can say is you got away with it, lucky there. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well, dear tour clearly weren't ready for what was to come and what came at them. Terror hurts a wry smile from Peter. He knows it's all over there. Underwhelming from the rest of the world team. They're going to have to do a lot better than this, otherwise it's going to be a whitewash because in came Rabbit M8 and one hit from Sabretooth was enough to put pay to Portugal's finest. Oh, you can just see there the removable safety link come flying out. Crash down, no way back from there too easy, John Reed, wasn't it really? They'll have to get tougher from here. It will do. And then over and out, dear tour. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter. What happened? What was the problem, apart well, from this? See, the thing about these robots is that they're very dangerous. Yes. And so they make us do something by putting these safety, safety links, links in yeah. so that they can pull them out if the robot gets out of control. Yeah. Unfortunately, the safety link fell out and made it too safe and in fact, I just killed it. How far into it? So that right at all... the very start. So that's all that happened? Yeah. What a killer. Okay, but that's it's okay. It's the worst way to die. It is the worst way to die, but it means yeah. that, you know, no, there's not a major everything issue. Is, everything's working perfectly. Okay. I, I've got some new fresh fur that I'm... will fix the eyes, new eyebrows will right. be sore. I was just going to say, you're going to dicky him up again before he goes in. It's really great to see Pete from the Deer Tour team back again after all these years. That just that unique colour scheme he has. We were on pit tables next next to each other in series five. Such an iconic machine, so recognisable, distinctive with these with these red fur on there. Bit of fire occasionally. Giotor did what he's famous for, but it was a frustrating return to the arena for Peter. Three. Trophy rests on this, and Apollo comes out fast out of the traps to use the flipper underneath to your tour. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? The one place you do not want to be when you've got fur on your side is on the flames. And they went straight for it. Oh, look at that. It's a flaming, gorgeous sight if you're a UK supporter. But 
the rest of the world hopes. Up in flames? We'll wait. We'll wait and see. I've waited so long to see Deutor back in the arena, I have to admit. And there's the Kilolon in this, the last battle of this international special. And Apollo gets a flip in. And Deutor, he knows they're in trouble straight away. Oh, look at that face of Davey Young. He had a point to prove as well with Apollo. Oh, wow, that was brutal. Up in the air went Deutor. Maybe the cold air in the upper atmosphere of the arena might dull those flames. Don't think so. Nothing extinguished apart from the hopes of Deutor. They'll need a miracle here. Apollo relentless on the arena wall. A little bit of trouble there. Got too close to Deutor. Oh, oh, that's a minute. Deutor says Apollo. Little coming here. Turn straight on at him. Turn, turn straight at him. Straight at him. Straight at him. Right at him. Corner. Right now. Right now. Right now. Look, was that sensible by Dave? Because that drew to kill a lot into the frag. And this gives Deutor a hope. Well, not much of a hope, to be honest, but anyway. Because that flip from Apollo was a mighty one. And I think that ended Deutor's dream. Come on, Subray. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, no. There they lie. But Apollo got too close to the house robots. And they want revenge now. Out they come. I think the victory is Apollo's. If they can stay out of trouble here, even if it goes to a judges, they won't lose the trophy. But they've done enough. Deutor immobilised. Great win for Apollo. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are, winning with dead metal. No, it's ceased. Go on, smash him up. Smash, smash him up. Take him on, I don't care. It's all over. Get out of the way, kill like your bully. He's trying to trample down on Apollo. Oh, okay. Straight at him, straight oh. at him, straight at him. Dave looks... Oh, he looks focused. He knew what he was doing. Oh, go on. <laughs> Side on attack underneath the tracks of Sir Killalot, nearly paid off. One final flip for Deator. <laughs> Big hit early on from Apollo. Deator already on fire because crazily they drove onto the flame pit in the opening exchanges. Massive hit there, look. What, four or five feet into the air? Came crashing down in Killalot territory. Always on the back foot, Deator. They needed the five points for the victory to give the rest of the world the trophy. Apollo decided it had beaten Deutor and one to the house robots, and that was nearly the biggest flip of the night. Would have raised the roof, nearly raised Killalot off the arena floor. Victory for Apollo, victory for the UK, and a bit of showboating too. Well, you might not have won, but there is something uniquely beautiful about a flying Deator launched into the sky, flames licking around. It was beautiful to see you back. It was absolutely beautiful to be here, and it was great. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the rest of the world team. Oh. Well, they put on a show. You finished the job. Yeah, absolutely fantastic to see Deator back and in flames as well. <laughs> and it launched across the arena. And we thought we'd have a signature pop at the House Robots as well. Well, you almost took Killalot out. Almost going over, very close. We'll get him next time, don't Dave worry about that. I wanted to see him on his nose. Yeah, <laughs> next time. Well done to you guys. Please, round of applause for Team UK. Well, there also was only one winner. With the trophy, could you please, on behalf of the Captain David, the winners are Team UK, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's all from us. Good night. Good night.